and it's good to have someone in the studio right now that we normally see actually sitting at a game in an arena, Malika Andrews. <laughs> she's here with us and obviously is always yeah, reporting on the Brooklyn way. Malika, tell us what it means to have Katie back for the rest of the team. Yeah, absolutely, Maria. I mean, it, it's a good thing that Kevin Durant is coming back for a variety of different reasons. But one of those reasons is that Steve Nash told me before the last game that one of the concerns that keeps him up at night, and yes, he was being a little bit facetious, but one of those concerns is how many minutes that other guys have have to take on in the wake of Kevin Durant being out because they are so shorthanded. And so getting Kevin Durant back not only helps the cohesion of the team, something they haven't really been able to build because remember, the Nets big three have played just seven games together, but it also helps alleviate the workload of a bunch of his teammates. Joe Harris is one of just eight players in the NBA currently who has started in ever played in every single game this season. So that's the type of workload that these guys have been taking on. But as Kyrie Irving said, now comes the fun part. They have no choice but to rely on their basketball IQ and get down in the trenches and try to figure this puzzle out, which is the handful of games left, Maria. All right, Malika, we appreciate you. Don't go anywhere. We know you got a one-on-one -on -one with Devin Booker, and he is a part of our double header here today with the Suns. So we'll get back to you in a second. But I want to talk about not just threes, but also three-pointers. So let's check out <laughs> our three-point performance brought to you by Mountain Dew. The Nets, they made 11 three-pointers in their win against the Celtics on Friday night. Jeff Green and Joe Harris, they had the hot hands, making seven of them for Brooklyn. And for Harris, he has 193 pointers on the season, which is fifth most in the NBA. So let's talk about, obviously, they're shooting it well from three. You get KD back into the fold. The Nets are looking to build some kind of chemistry. There's only about 12 games left for most teams in the season, Jay Rose. So what do you want to see from the Nets right now? I would love to see them be healthy, Maria. And as Malika just said, their big three has only played seven total games this year. And we know the season's basically going to be over in a couple of months. I just don't think, and I'm respecting the rest of the conference, and I'm respecting the journey. I just don't think this is going to be the year for the Nets to win the East. Mm -hmm. If you asked me if I was taking the Nets to the field, I would take the field. And here's why. Giannis Antetokounmpo, Joel Embiid, their closing lineup with the Nets is going to be their big three, Joe Harris and Jeff Green. None of those guys are seven foot tall and going to be getting in the way of Joel Embiid. And I just don't think they're going to have the chemistry and the cohesion to pull it together in enough time to actually live up to their potential in this season. Respectfully, I disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think the sense among the other contenders in the East is that, listen, the, when healthy, the talent gap is significant. The Nets are mm -hmm. the best team. But I think teams like Philadelphia, Milwaukee, even Miami, when they get it together uh, and are healthy, that the... Uh, um, the, the playing together, the cohesion, knowing who they go to in big moments, and then defensively. You know, we, we mm -hmm. keep talking about offensively with Brooklyn and who's going to take the shot, but they're going to have to get stops in the playoffs. They're going to have to be able to defend against size. Mm -hmm. And I think the other contenders in the East think that's their way to close that gap with the Nets is their familiarity on the floor. And the fact that the Nets are going to face moments with their big three in the postseason – that they haven't had to, to that they haven't had yet together in the regular season. Is there something that you could see from them when they get back on the court in the next 12 games that would let you know, Jay Rose, that yes, they can win the East to, to potentially change your mind in the Jalen Rose power index? All three of those guys being healthy. That's it. All three of those. I'm not a fool. Like you said it, the talent gap is just um, so great when the Nets are healthy. But at the same time, can they be healthy enough to win three seven-game series? to get out of the conference. And Bam also is another big guy that they're going to have to contend with up front. And so I'm just respecting the journey, not disrespecting the Nets. It is hard to see a guy like James Harden out. He's missed 11 of the last 12 games. We're so used to him being an Iron Man, so mm -hmm. it would be good to see him back on the court. And like we said, seven games, that's 186 minutes that the big three has been mm -hmm. on the court together. So it is tough to, to see and imagine them in a playoff series. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.